James Webb finds unknown galaxies beyond comparison. The James Webb telescope has been capturing images of stunning clarity and keeps uncovering exciting new information since going live on July 11th. One of the first images taken by the telescope was Glass Z13, the oldest galaxy ever discovered by scientists. It formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. More recent discoveries have revealed even more unknown galaxies. These newly located star clusters are nothing like we've ever seen and are beyond scientists' comparison. What unknown galaxies was the telescope able to detect? Is it possible that these galaxies could support life? Join us as we dive into the discovery of unknown galaxies that are beyond comparison. Let's begin with an overview of the topic. Compared to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope has significant advantages. Webb can operate at a distance of around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. That's four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. Because there is no interference from space stations or satellites, the Hubble Space Telescope, located 547 kilometers from Earth, can take crisp photographs. Furthermore, the Hubble Telescope primarily observes the visible and ultraviolet spectral ranges. The JWST has two infrared cameras, the NearCam for Near IR and the MIRI for mid-IR. Astrophysicist John C. Mather thinks that the telescope is sensitive enough to see a bumblebee traveling between the Earth and the Moon. The telescope's infrared capabilities allow it to see far into the universe where the oldest galaxies and stars can be found. The Hubble Space Telescope cannot penetrate the thick cloud of gas and dust that surrounds many planets and stars and galaxies, but the JWST slices through it like an X-ray. The 6.5-meter diameter JWST mirror is a remarkable departure. The enormous mirror launched launched into orbit has a far more significant light collection capability. While it took the Hubble Space Telescope weeks to take identical deep field images, we could complete ours in just one day. The deep field view of the JWST shows tens of thousands of galaxies. Next, SMAX 0723. A cluster of galaxies known as SMACS 0723 is centrally positioned. Because their combined mass acts as a gravitational lens, light from more distant galaxies behind them is warped. As a result, no telescope has ever detected many galaxies because they are too small and faint. The solar system served as the initial point of reference for the James Webb Telescope. During the telescope's earlier tests, scientists selected to photograph the gas giant. Since then, Earth has served as the setting for several photo shoots. Researchers employed this method to assess JWST's genuine capabilities and the results exceeded their expectations. The James Webb Telescope revealed the planet's characteristic stripes. These stripes are caused by a complex interaction between the planet's surface and atmosphere. The intriguing and massive red spot, which has a circumference of 16,000 kilometers or 10,000 miles and is vast enough to encompass the entire Earth, was also captured. Jupiter's moon Europa is seen on the left and Jupiter's two moons Thebe and Metis are shown on the right. JWST was also able to photograph Jupiter's rings. Jupiter's bright at atmosphere makes it difficult to see and photograph its small rings. Following that, the telescope's emphasis shifted to the distant WASP 96b exoplanet, where it quickly yielded remarkable data. Following that, the exoplanet WASP 96b. The planet was discovered in the Phoenix constellation in 2013. They found that it is a gas giant located approximately 1,150 light years away. Its diameter is 1.2 times that of Jupiter, although its mass is less than half than that of Jupiter. As a result, the exoplanet is as light as a cloud. In its orbit, it is closer to its yellow dwarf star than Mercury is to the Sun. As a result, global temperatures will arise to 1,000 degrees Celsius. JWST observed cloudiness and haze in the atmosphere. It also discovered signs of water on the planet in gas molecules. Hubble has been searching for water for the past two decades, and it finally found evidence of it in 2013. Scientists were ecstatic when just made a similarly important discovery almost immediately. This is intriguing, but it pales to discovering extraterrestrial life on WASP-96b. On the other hand, astronomers argue that the discovery of biologically relevant substances such as water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and methane is the first step on this path. Such compounds on rocky planets would be a vital clue that we should begin using telescopes to use to look for signs of life on these worlds. Adding to that, the Southern Ring Nebula. Another JWST image shows the Southern Ring Nebula 2.5 thousand light years away. A fading star is surrounded by an increasing gas cloud created by the star shown below rather than the core star. Over thousands of years, at least eight layers of gas and dust have been released. The central star's bright light penetrates the ring structure of the nebula, where the numerous emissions have been blended to form the complicated design pattern. The sun's rays from the Earth's surface similarly fill the gaps between the clouds. Hubble has already offered excellent images of the Southern Ring and other nebulae. It shows that these 
gaseous blobs are multicolored, complicated ecosystems. However, the telescope outperformed itself. The planetary nebula was visible, but so was a vast region of space teeming with galaxies. One of these is the sliver of light visible to the left. This comparison shows that Webb's image is far more detailed than that of Hubble's image. The idea of the brilliant stars taken by Hubble shows four beams, whereas the photo taken by the James Webb telescope shows six points of light. The Hubble telescope features a secondary mirror suspended by four arms in front of a circular lens. On the other hand, the telescope's lens is made up of 18 hexagonal mirror segments. Following is the purple vortex. What exactly is this gigantic purple vortex? This was the spiral galaxy NGC 628 or M74 in the constellation Pisces around 32 million light years from Earth through JWST's eyes. So why does this Hubble image of the same galaxy look so different? This is because JWST was assigned to do something else. It examined the dust and gas clouds that obscured most of the stars. However, some galaxies are still visible. The graphic depicts the aftermath of supernova explosions and regions where new leads are developing. Okay, here's another Another stunning image. This is JWST's most giant lunar photograph, covering more than a fifth of the Moon's overall diameter. It displays Stefan's Quintet, a clump of galaxies in the constellation Pegasus and approximately 290 million light years from Earth. Four of the five galaxies in this group appear to be in a gravitational tango with one another. It moved closer and occasionally collided, while a fifth sits peacefully 40 million light years away from Earth and observes the event. This is a great and entertaining show. Yes, the Hubble telescope has allowed us to keep Stefan's quintet on multiple occasions, but we saw it from a different angle this time. Astronomers assembled this giant mosaic, which is made up of over a thousand individual JWST pictures with a combined resolution of over 150 million pixels. This graphic provides new information regarding Stefan's quintet. Finally, the galaxy's NGC. Several dim specks of galaxies are in the background, sparkling clusters of millions of young stars and vast areas of star formation. Several reports of gas, dust and stars being ejected from numerous galaxies due to gravitational interactions as well as massive shock waves created by the galaxy NGC 7318b invading the cluster. The highest galaxy, NGC 7319, has a galactic core with an active supermassive black hole and the James Webb telescope was able to see through its thick layer of gas and dust to reach it. The telescope detected scorching gas around the black hole and sent the data with fantastic clarity. The James Webb Space Telescope captured the stunning image of cosmic cliffs, revealing more detail than previously anticipated. The Carina Nebula contains a young star-forming region known as NGC 3324, which can be observed at its most extreme. The nebula's outer rim is shaped by ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from supermassive young stars. Experts in the field were taken aback when the images from both telescopes were merged. It is instantly clear that the JWST image is sharper than the Hubble image. A photo acquired by the James Webb Space Telescope shows fireballs exploding in the background. These are highly distant galaxies rather than stars. The blue haze seen rising above the mountains in the sky is ionized gas and dust heated by the continuous radiation of young stars ejected from the nebula. Now that you've seen all of these breathtaking pictures, which one is your favorite? Vote with your thumbs up and share your thoughts below. James Webb Space Telescope is now actively exploring the cosmos. Do yourself a favor and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Many thanks for taking the time to view.